it's Monday, April 25th. <laughs> And we've never done this before, but we are in the depths of sample sewing for Color Chaos, the new pattern that will be out in June. And I kind of thought it'd be fun to do a little behind the scenes this week of what it means for us when we're making a sample. Um, and so I don't even know what this video is going to look like at the end. We're kind of flying by the seat of our pants. But I thought we'll kind of check in multiple times throughout each day this week um, and see what the progress is like for when we sew a sample together. So this morning we have kind of our very general plan of attack and what's highlighted is what's done on here. And so this week's whole goal, the main goal this week is what we're calling color chaos garden quilt. And we're always working against a deadline to get it to a long armor in time to then get it back for our photo shoot. So our photo shoot is exactly two and a half weeks from today and we still have two more samples to sew. I have four quilts to still, still get to a long armor to get back in time <laughs> to make the photo shoot happen. So all that said, last week, this is a sneak peek, but last week this was the sample we were working on. I'm sure by the time you see this video, I'll start sharing it. So I am pinning up this week's sample just over it. And Color Chaos is not a hard pattern, but it is one where you have to stay organized to keep your shit together. So <laughs> this is the fabric bundle that we're gonna be using this week. And I <clears throat> haven't started cutting. So my goal today is to cut all the fabric, organize it into block piles, and maybe sew a few blocks and that will be my main goal this week and Allison will be here a couple days so you'll see how the studio changes when she's here um but for now welcome and I hope you like this process okay so I cut exactly one fabric <laughs> and then decided that I might need to change some of the color placement of just these couple. So this is the original mock-up. So this is the final right side and see how the gingham is kind of bright on the upper mm -hmm. corner. I'm kind of debating if I should change this gingham in this blue, the darker blue and rotate them. So it looks a little more, I don't know. It's like, I like the gradient, but I feel like it could be better. So this is what it looks like if I were to just flip flop that dark blue with the bright gingham in its placement. So instead of being the second to last fabric, it would go technically like here, then that guy, then the dark, and then this dark. And so that's, this is the color mock-up. What do you think? Do you think I should flip it so that this column I like it flipped. Flipped? Yeah. Okay, because I'll need to read. So I have all of the fabrics cut and lined up in their order of blocks and color. And so I just put up my design wall, which is just truly a piece of batting that is then clipped up with Ikea shower curtain clips. And then the hooks I have are from Rejuvenation. And this is just a, it's called a picture rail trim that's part of like the architectural style of our house. It was built in 1925. So this was just dumb luck when buying this house that I'm able to clip things up with it. So I'll start working block by block and we'll put the blocks up on the design wall as we work through them to keep ourselves organized. Snuggle break two of the day. Huh, snuggle break two. But if you pan to the wall, we'll see if the lighting catches it. We have the first, I got the first four blocks done. So make them away. I got through six blocks. This is the seventh one on here. And I'm tired. So I'm gonna call it good for the day. Got it started, got it cut got a column and a half done. 
and did other work things. So I'm gonna pause for the day. What you got for me today? We're sewing. A lot of sewing. Sewing, 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 sewing. Maybe a little more sewing. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> We are sewing machine. Iron? Iron? Wait. <laughs> Heidi Ho. Hi. How many episodes of Gilmore Girls down today? Mm, I think only two, actually. Oh. Almost the whole day with Allison here, I put on music, so uh -huh. we're not fighting over dialogue. Okay, so day dose. Look how far we got. Let's get out of the wall. Nice. So good. super loving how this is coming together. So we have four columns done. So half the quilt's done. I started the fifth column. Or wait, that's five columns. One, five two, three, columns four, five. done. Started the sixth column. A two, a I three, can't do math. A four, a five. I can't count basic numbers. <laughs> um, yeah. So we only have a little bit left. I'm kind of just wrapping up for the day. Um, Allison typically leaves her machine here if um, we kind of have like a heavy sewing week. So I just set that aside. And yeah, I'm super, super in love with how this one's coming together. So we'll see. I need to have um, this completely finished to drop off to the long, uh, a long armor, ideally Friday. So I'd love to have the top finished by Thursday. So we shall see if it's possible. Good morning. I fulfilled some orders that came in yesterday and I am invoicing a distributor since we shipped their purchase order yesterday. I have to remember to charge them for all the product. Um, what else? It's Wednesday. I never know what day it is. April 27th. So I will chug along on more of the blocks. Um, what else do we have going on today? Luke's working on some bundles that I curated earlier this week. I just didn't show you what I was doing. Um, therapy today, pottery class tonight. So definitely trying to get more blocks sewn today, but sometimes in the middle of the week after, if it's a heavy sewing week, I like to do computer work or take a break and focus on a couple other things because I get burnt out when I'm sewing like day after day after day after day. Um, so maybe I'll even start looking at trying to figure out what pantographs I want quilted into these tops. We'll see. But it's 8.04 Wednesday. I've got, let me count correct today. One, two, three, four, five, six full columns done. You can see I'm starting to add the blues. And so that's column seven, we'll have one more. Um, so it's going. I'm really loving how it's turning out a lot, a lot. And these fabrics are so pretty. Um, what time is it? I have 10 minutes and I'll take a break for therapy. And then hopefully keep sewing this afternoon so that maybe tomorrow being Thursday. I don't know if I'll get through all the blocks today, but at least tomorrow we could get blocks and columns sewn together if not fully done, would be awesome. Yeah, that's where we're at. Therapy, we talked about how I need to have better work boundaries. So to process that, I'm working. Great, and you took the call in your studio, so mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Good boundaries. Yeah, doing good. Six left total, and I'm on number six. So making really good progress. Nice. 
which I'm very excited by. I freaking love it. It's 4.30 p.m. This is the last Do you block. know where your quilter is? Jesus, who Still at the sewing machine. It's here. It's the last block, though. This one right here? Yeah. Wow. So close. It's a set thing. And uh, the plan originally was Allison typically works Tuesday, Thursdays, and sometimes we'll send her home. <laughs> you just see her fabric again. <laughs> Can we start over? No. And sometimes we'll send her home with projects to work in between if needed on a busy week. But as any parent knows, kids get sick. And so Allison just let me know she can't make it today because her kiddos are sick. And so my plan doesn't truly change much for the day beyond now I have to do all of the top sewing. We are going to kind of tag team it. My goal is still to have it done by the end of the day. When I sewed up a sample last week, I think I got from this point of all blocks to a finished top in about three hours so I should still definitely be able to do it but today I also have um new bundle listings to get up that loot cut I need to photograph them put them in the shop write my newsletter um make the backings for two quilts that I'm sending off um to long arm tomorrow or this weekend because I'm hoping to take most of tomorrow off from work so it's just gotten a tad busier, which means I will need more coffee and a lot more Desperate Housewives. I've got um, all my columns are sewn and now I'm sewing my columns into two by twos and then I'll sew those into halves and then sew the half together. Um, even though Allison couldn't make it today, she's coming soon to pick up um some fabric to cut for the sample we're making next week so at least we get a little bit ahead um and i'm also picking the pantograph size with um caitlin one of my long armors so she'll like text me thread colors so i can kind of choose what thread color i want and then she also sends me the scale where I can see what the inch repeat is and then I can confirm or change it. I don't think a lot of people do this <laughs> for their clients, but um, I luckily work with people who are willing to let me choose all those things. Um, this is what Allison will be cutting this weekend which is um, three fabrics instead of 34. So the quilt will look very different, but same pattern, which is really fun. So making, making our way. Hopefully I'll be done in about an hour with the top and then I gotta do the backings and whatnot.
you got? It is 2.28 p.m. And I was just gonna, this is the process of me taking photos and editing them today before I take these to the long armor. And I am freaking obsessed with how this quilt turned out. Look how fun. So when I say I take a lot of photos, I am not lying. I take, oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I take a ton of photos. Okay, these are just different bundles, but like here's more. Oh, this is the thing that keeps popping up that I was telling you about. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, well, we can get away from here for a second. Yeah, I'll call the guys at Adobe. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here, pan to the phone. So I'm texting with Caitlin again, who's doing the first version of the um, Color Chaos Quilt. And she had laid out these, like, these different thread choices. It's kind of hard to see, but you can tell like she kind of lays them out. And then I can choose like if I like a certain thread. And on this one, I said, hey, would it be crazy if we did neon thread on that test quilt, the one that like I had to rip half of it apart and it's killing me. And then look at, she sent me this. That is like bright yellow lime green neon thread. And I said, Yes! <laughs> so, that one she's working on right now, and it's gonna be one of the swivel, what is it called? Swivel circle two? Anyways, I just thought that was kind of fun. So, I have all these edited um, to do a sneak peek in tomorrow's newsletter before this whole video will be out, um, but now I actually have to write the newsletter. Oh, and one thing we just did that was not on camera is the whole quilt that we've been sewing up this week will be offered as a kit. And the cool thing about the Color Chaos kits that are um, quarter yards is you don't technically have to use them to make Color Chaos. Like if you just love the fabric, you can buy it and it's a quarter yard cut. And so I was a little anxious about only having a certain amount to offer because a lot of the fabrics we're using are like really new Ruby Star Society fabrics and they don't usually do like second runs of prints. So if a print sells out, it's typically gone unless it's truly a basic. And so today we just <laughs> went through and I reordered an entire second round of fabric to come. So here's my not shameless plug. Please don't make me regret it. Buy this kit, <laughs> buy the fabric.